Hello, my name is Igor and welcome to my tech farm. In this video, I'd like to introduce you CNC machining services by PCBWay. The primary services is PCB manufacturing and prototyping and, and they're really good indeed, uh, but currently I don't need this kind of services. Approximately a few months ago, I introduced the CD printing services uh, where they printed some test objects for me from the strongest FDM and SLA material and I compared them in that video. And in this video, I'd like to introduce you their CNC machining services. Now again, thanks to my curiosity, uh, I lost the sponsoring of my videos because their original request from me was uh, to introduce uh, their services in any of my videos and they will sponsor it. But instead, I told them to manufacture some test objects for me. And in that case, I will create a video for them for free. Because I was very curious, for example, uh, how much weaker is the printed uh, object compared to these four mentioned in the title. And mostly I was curious about the creep test. Uh, maybe if you are not new on this channel, you are familiar with my standard creep testing. Creeping is the deformation of the material during the constant load along the time. And uh, I have this uh, C test specimens and I put some constant load on it and I measure the deformation every day. And on the last day I put them even in some heated oven and uh, after that I record the additional deformation on it. Now, what are these materials I'm curious about? PEAK. Just information from their website. A PEAK is engineering thermoplastic with excellent mechanical and thermal properties. Can be used to replace metal parts. I was curious if uh, I would have a CD printer which would be able to print PEAK. What can I expect? Because don't forget this is CNC machine, the test object. POM. An engineering thermoplastic used in precision parts uh, requiring hard, uh, high stiffness, low friction and excellent dimensional stability. For example, on Prusa printer the trapezoidal nuts are made from the POM. The next is aluminium 6061. It is the most popular aluminium alloy. It has good strength to weight ratio, excellent uh, machinability and natural corrosion resistance. And the last uh, test object is brass CC60. It is a highly machinable alloy with good tensile strength and natural corrosion resistance, ideal for parts that require low friction. So these test objects, four test objects should be in this box and I will compare them with this ABS part, uh, which will be just some kind of reference. Shortly, let's see the ordering process of these uh, test objects. This is the object in Fusion 360 and for CD printing user, we go to the right click and save as a mesh select the STL file. But in this case, I go to the uh, file export because I need IGs or step file in this case. And then I go to the export and the file is saved. And this file I have to import into PCBWay's website. This is the first step. Then I can choose the quantity, design units, material, some other uh, options I have here. Uh, for example, uh, tolerance, uh, finishing appearance, surface quality. I can add some additional comments and then all four uh, objects are prepared. I can submit the request and uh, I cannot uh, proceed to the checkout until it's not confirmed. Usually in less than one hour it's confirmed and it's uh, when I make the payment it is in the processing stage. And after this I have to wait until they arrive. And now let's see what's in the box. invoice and this should be those four objects a little bit packaging for this small part hmm the brass oh I think I will feel sorry to break this <laughs> according to the color this is a peak Hmm, this one is aluminum. Pom. So this is peak, pom, brass, and aluminum. And this will be the reference ABS. But before I start with the creep testing, uh, let's check the dimensions. Uh, since I didn't ask for tighter tolerances, uh, the base is uh, plus minus 0.2 millimeters. And the most important dimension here is this cross section, 5 by 4 millimeters.
great accuracy, much more precise than according to the listing. Pick, palm, brass, aluminum, and the reference ABS. Just to explain, I will place here the load and I will measure the distance between these two surfaces. By default it is 12 millimeters, uh, but of course uh, when the load is it, uh, there will be some deformation. Uh, but during the measuring, uh, I will lock the position with the seed printed parts, for, so it will not deform during the measurement. And I will do this uh, every day, next five days. And on the last day I will place it inside the heated oven and for one hour. And after that uh, I will also measure the deformation and then I will see the conclusions. Maybe at the end I will try to break them, but I'm not sure if I will do <laughs> I can do it with my measuring equipment. And it is time to place the load on these test objects. Last load is a little bit different, but the weight is the same. Now let's measure them. Peak 14.35. Pom 15.20. With brass, this uh, bolt cannot fit into this, uh, but it is strong enough uh, with so it will not deform during the measuring. 12.10. Similar problem I have with aluminum. Twelve point twenty-two. And ABS sixteen point eighty-three. I will measure them every day off camera, of course. I will record everything in this table. Uh, but in the video I will just include one picture from the same position every day. So this is day zero, day one after 24 hours, day two, day three, day four, day five, and day five after one hour on 50 degrees Celsius. Actually, it was 49 degrees Celsius, which I followed with some separate uh, thermometer. And now removing of the load. And this is how they look like after approximately 10 minutes after I removed the load. Basically the peak, interesting, and the brass got its original shape. Just a little bit uh, more permanent deformation on aluminum. And the uh, ABS and the palm are very similar now. Before I analyze the results of the grip test, uh, I want to try to break these test specimens. Now my first thought was that uh, for the feeling, this brass and aluminum are quite strong and I wasn't sure that I can break it with my equipment. But then I did some basic calculations and if the given stress is correct, then I need less than 40 kilograms to break this test specimen. So I will give it a try. Probably I could do it by pulling with my hand, but uh, for more constant load, I will use the chain hoist. That is one ton chain hoist. And this is 500 kilogram crane scale. And I'm starting with ABS, from weakest to strongest. Peak. According to specifications, the aluminum is stronger than brass, but on my test uh, it has a little bit bigger deformation, so I will start with aluminum. And it looks like this may be a little bit dangerous because it's elastic and when it slips down, it flies away. Maybe I will stop early, I will see.
Well, that was interesting. Now it's time to analyze the results. And all results can be seen in this Excel table. It is downloadable from mytech1.com website. Now let's start with analyzing of the creep test. So these are those dimensions which I measured every day. But for creeping, actually, we need the difference between two days. And that's why I prepared this table for the graph. Uh, here you can see the number, which is actually the difference between two days. There are some negative values, but that's maybe a result of small inaccuracy in measuring. Okay, so what can we see in this graph? Uh, the PAM and ABS start with a quite a lot of creeping and only after fourth or fifth day it's stabilized. But after uh, one hour on in a heated oven, uh, we can see some deformations on the PAM and quite a lot of creeping on ABS. This is one of the cheapest ABS. Uh, I think it's Gamebird or something like that. Uh, a very pleasant surprise was the peak very minimal deformations after one day, but after this, almost no deformations at all. And of course, with the brass and aluminum, it was no surprises that there was no deformations at all, almost. Now let's see this uh, maximal load during this braking test. Uh, well, of course, we can see now here that uh, aluminum was the strongest, much stronger than the brass. The ABS was the weakest. Uh, and again, a very pleasant surprise from the peak compared to the palm. Now, uh, according to my calculations, uh, this is a small calculator I did. So I calculated with this uh, stress, which is given in the specifications, it should deform on 32 kilograms. Yes, but it is only a start deformation because when it starts with deformation, uh, the arm of the torque is smaller, so it needs a bigger load for additional deformation. So that's why I have here so big uh, loads. But anyway, it's the uh, same test for all test subjects. So uh, it's here in this table, or you can see that in this graph. And this table is just a specification which I collected from PCBWA website. And now the conclusions. Well, first about PCBWA CNC machining services. Well, it was a very present surprise. The accuracy is quite good. I measured some dimensions of camera too. Uh, but of course I only got these uh, few samples, so I cannot judge according to this uh, quite accurate. Uh, about its price, uh, well, I'm not sure, I cannot compare it, uh, but uh, definitely it is very good that to have these options. If I need some stronger part, uh, I know that I can prepare that step file, not STL, and I can upload here and I can get a quote. And if price is acceptable, then I can order that uh, part uh, to be manufactured and sent to me. About these uh, materials, uh, well, maybe not to scientific video or maybe not too useful to see the printer owners, but uh, I personally was very curious about these materials. Uh, I even sacrificed sponsoring of the video I mentioned earlier. And uh, well, definitely I run one thing that uh, the most pleasant surprise was actually the peak. And I know now that uh, I'm starting to searching uh, possibilities to print peak at home because I know it requires very high printing temperatures, uh, actively heated enclosure, so it's not enough to he be heated by the, I don't know, build plate or something like that. Uh, this means that all electronics must be outside, the stepper motors properly has to be cooled by the water, and uh, I think the cooling drying of the filament is also very important, but uh, definitely uh, we will get very nice and strong parts with this. If you have some additional comments, uh, or maybe you know some uh, printer, maybe you can recommend me some printer for printing peak, uh, you can write me a line in down in a comment. Thank you for watching and happy printing or maybe CNC machining or ordering. Anyway, see you in my next video. Bye.